Hills of Oklahoma. Welcome high above downtown Oklahoma City. Hi, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. It's a Monday afternoon broadcast of the NBA. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Bird, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. Here's the starting group for Houston. Tracy McGrady is out there with Big Cat. Then it's the Prophet. Then it's Shane Battier. And it's Yao in at the five spot. And for the Sonics, Nick Collison out there with Wilkins. And there's Mr. Moves. And it's Durant. And it's Wilcox in at the five. Conference rivals in this one, Doris. A regular season game that will likely have that uh, postseason feel. And we are the beneficiaries of what could be a playoff preview. You never know, obviously, how things are going to shake out in terms of seeding. What we know unequivocally are these two rivals are prepared to play in what we would consider not just any regular season game, perhaps a little more on the line than you might expect. Here's Watson. Goes back up. He takes it up and brings it in. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. You get the sense, Greg, there is a level of intensity right out of the gates. Alston passes to Skull. And some nice passing there by Houston. Pass to Yao. Over Wilcox. And Yao gets it to go on the assist by Battier. And it's always nice to get an easy look inside for your first points of the game. Watson, the pass to KD. Come on, shoot! And KD throws it down. How do you match up with KD? This guy is so good at taking what the defense gives him. Good luck. McGrady outside. trying to get open and that one's good but Brady this guy can do so much for you on the offensive end and that is why his number gets called time and time again got a piece of it it's stolen by McGrady and it's the Rockets on the break McGrady's running yeah easy call Houston shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line. About 79% of their free throws. Brady. And McGrady drops them both. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Durant feeling it out a bit. Lets it go with a three. The shot, no good. And Houston the other way now. Battier outside. Back to Alston. Stola kicks to McGrady. Pass to Yao. Over Wilkins. The shot's good from Yao. Yao's got his second bucket of the game to go. Yeah, and you got to respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. Watson with it. Durant just inside the line. Seattle missing again. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Now here is McGrady following the shot by Kevin Durant. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. To the run. Watson. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Alston passes to McGrady. 
And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, fires from deep. Alston can't get it to go. Next trail by four. And here's Watson. A putback. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. For Houston, they've gone four or five from the field so far. Passes to McGrady. Shoots over KD. It's hauled in by the Sonics. Watson surveying the D. And Shane Battier gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Wilkins against Batty. Wilkins shot is off. Houston in the lead. Now Alston still looking for his first bucket in this one. Yao kicks to Alston. And the pass to Skull. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, the officials are all over that. The Rockets shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. misses and the second free throw good and so it's Watson who will bring it up for Seattle they trail by three. Kicks to Wilcox. He dishes it to Wilkins. Puts it up from 12. Good. He hits the jump shot. Working against size. He's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. Now, here is McGrady. He's got six, and the basket by Scola. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Outside, KD. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tracy McGrady. That's his first foul. Durant, the pass to Wilkins. Collison dishes to Wilkins. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Over Scola. Wilkins shot is off. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Now, here's Yao. Six on the shot clock. Back to McGrady. Good day, good day. From deep three-point range, the long distance three is built. McGrady's got nine. And, and how about getting a hand up on McGrady, especially when he's looking to shoot from the outside? Now, here's Watson. High defense on him, and he makes that one. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. McGrady against KD. McGrady left side. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Pass to Wilcox. Pass to Watson. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. 
Here is Wilcox. He's covered by Yao. Wilcox can't hit. Rockets leading by six. Passes it to McGrady. Pattier outside. Back to McGrady. And he gets the bucket. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. The Supersonics have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Now here's Durant. That one goes in. But Kevin Durant has the kind of handle and creativity to get by defensive players off the dribble drive. Nicely done. McGrady passes to Battier. Dishes it to McGrady. Over Durant. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Here is Watson. He's got six. Outside Stola. Here's McGrady. And the layup's good off the glass. McGrady's got 13. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. And the first time out of the game called for Seattle. Of course, who are some of the up-and-coming shooting guards in the league that you have noticed have got uh, a very high ceiling? Well, I'm going to mention two guys who I think could be considered combo guards, guards who can play one or two, and who I think their organizations are still trying to figure out their best position. But two of the most dominant young guards in the league who are going to be a problem for over a decade, Devin Booker and Donovan Mitchell. Both guys can create their own shot. Both can get off the dribble drive. Both could light you up for over 50 a night. Devin and Donovan, two names to keep an eye on. Now here's Scola. He has five. Outside Jackson from past the arc. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Next trail by 11. Outside Durant. Puts it up from 17. Good as the jump shot falls. Six points for him. Uh, Kevin Durant's form, his release point, everything about his stroke is really impeccable. McGrady right side. Eddie outside, beyond the arc. And it's Seattle with the rebound. And that's how you have to defend him out there on the three-point line. Played him perfectly. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. How about the body control Kevin Durant has? My goodness gracious. Takes the punishment and makes the shot anyway. The Supersonics shooting their first free throw of the game here. A different look for Seattle. The dude, he's checked in for Wilcox. Green comes in for Wilkins. And ABC subbed in for Mr. Moves. Kevin Durant prides himself on doing everything at an elite level. And really, think about how he's improved his defense in the prime of his career. And now the first time I've called here for the Rockets. McGrady. And they double up Jackson. McGrady against KD. Fades and shoots. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Eddie A against Green. There's the dish to Ridenauer. Six to shoot. Back to Green. That's 
the free fly. That's good. And it's written now and picking up the assist. And, and Green's become a, a dependable three-point threat. If you don't get a hand in his face, he can certainly knock those down. McGrady outside. Here's the pass to Scope. Houston moving the ball around. Another miss by Houston. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. So far, both teams scorching the nets. You gotta love it. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. Now here's Jackson over Collison. Ejected by Collison. Durant, wide open, he fires. A miss that time, would have put him up. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Jackson passes to Lent. Scola inside. He's covered by Collison. Scola, no luck. Seattle with the ball. They've scored 10 straight. Ridenauer against Jackson. Ridenauer's shot is off. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. Pass to Scope. Now McGrady. He's covered by Collison. Shot from the wing. And it's McGrady that time on the assist by Scope. McGrady's got 15. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. against Green. Here's Collison. Seattle needs to get off a shot. Drives from 16, and Green gets it to go. He has five. And that is a shot that Green knocks down consistently. The defense has to try harder to contest him from there. Now, here is McGrady. He's got 15. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jeff Green. That is his first foul of the game. Rockets have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. for Battier. 19 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Scola, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Rockets shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Off on the first. He hits the second from the line. And here are the supersonics now. It's a three point game. Now, here is Ridnow. Outside, Green. Here's Petro. Boom, he jams it straight down. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. But to me, Greg, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far.
good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, you know, what are your thoughts? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? Houston in the lead. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So on the floor for Houston. They've got Shane Battier. Head is out there with Big Cat. Then it's D, and it's Yao in at the five down low. Head drops in the tray. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Seattle with the ball. Watson kicks to Wilcox. He dishes it to Green. That one doesn't go. The Rockets go the other way with it. Pass to Alston. Here is Ed. Alston passes to Yao. Rocket six. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Wilcox has got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Marshall. Oh, and the jam by Marshall. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Yao, the pass to Alston. Back to Yao. It's stolen by Wilcox. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Watson. To the left wing. Outside, Green. It's good. This game is all even. Green's got seven points in the game. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Lynch. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? Alston with the ball. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Hayes, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Doris, you played point guard. What do you like to see from that position? Well, I'm going to go back to the Showtime Lakers, which was my first uh, team that I adored when I was a kid watching the NBA. And the reality is this, Kevin. I love to see teams play in transition, get out in the open floor. What's better than watching Steph Curry cross half court with a full head of steam and the defender knowing, oh, good God, anything could happen here. He might pull a three. He might finish in spectacular fashion off the run. Or he might find a teammate for a momentum building three. Like, get in transition and run, baby. second free throw and for those of you just joining us we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter Watson the pass to Wilcox and they call the foul so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim the D had better start buckling now the Sonics have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. And one of the weaker areas for this group only shot about 71% from the line a season ago. And here's Alston. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. The Rockets again can't hit. The Supersonics have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Now 
Watson. He's got six. The kick out to Wilkins. Six on the shot clock. Tips it. It's good on the putback. Marshall's got the lead up to four now for the Sonics. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Timeout called the Rockets. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. On defense, Seattle. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Alston passes to Yao. Over Wilcox. That's good, and the supersonic lead is cut down to just two points on the bucket from Yao. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Outside Wilkins. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. He kicks to Watson. Shot clock at six. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen. Well, despite that possession, something that I've liked is they've been under control while getting out in this lead. They've kept those turnovers down. The Rockets have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Patty outside. Back to Alston. The pass to Hayes. Houston moving the ball around. Yep, it counts. Now he's got it all tied up now for the Rockets. Boy, the bounce pass put right on the money. Nice assist. Outside green. And the call will be against D. That's foul number two for him. Another foul will give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Side Wilkins. There's the triple. And another three for Seattle. Rockets trail by three. Here's Alston. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Takes a three. It's hauled in by the Sonics. Definitely a situation you want to make sure we don't give him too good of a look. Wilkins up top. Five points in the game. Well, put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. Alston with the ball. Pass to Hayes. Kicks it to Head. Passes it to Yao. And here's Hayes to the wing right side. That's good, and the Seattle lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Head. Head's got five points now this quarter. Outside Wilkins. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. You've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching, and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. Our high school had a radio station, and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers, looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people that were standing in the bleachers so that I could see the court from the basement. Amazing. Because that's where the that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment. Wow. Was, uh, 16 years old. Incredible. I remember it very well. Incredible. Very well. <laughs> Here is Alston. He's covered by Watson. Battier kicks to head. Six to shoot. Yao in the post. Wilcox on him. And the basket by Yao. 
For Seattle, they've gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. the Rockets and out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Rockets have gone five of eight from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Head passes to Alston. They double team Young. And there's the pass to Alston. Rocket six. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. The Sonics leading. Outside Wilkins. Pass to Watson. Here is Wilcox. Now here's Green. Seven points in the game. Watson misses the three. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing, the ability to alter shots on the perimeter. That was beautiful. Pass to Battier. Now here's Young. It's back to Battier. Marshall with the steal. Here's Green, and it's Green with the jam. Man, Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up the road. Now Alston still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. That ties it up. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often. And, of course, he makes good use of it. Seattle has gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. It's Wilkins with the drive. It's in the bucket for his fourth field goal. Shooting it a four of nine clip. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here is Alston. He's covered by Watson. Passes to Yao. They double team Yao. Here is Ed. Eight points for him. Yao kicks to Battier, releases. They get it back. The pass to Alston. On deep. And another three for Houston. That's a layup for him. He's just too open. Time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. Big group substitution here for Seattle. The dude, he's checked in for Wilcox. Allison comes in for Marshall. Kevin Durant's checked in for Wilkins. And ABC subbed in for Mr. Moves. Outside, KD. in the pass to Petra. Ridnauer against Jackson. Ridnauer with it. Shot clock at five over Jackson. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Houston's gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Play him tight, come on! Green against McGrady. Scola left side. Six on the shot clock. Jackson finds Scola over Green. Scola, no luck. Rosanic's trailing. Durant for three. Good. And the assist goes to Ridnow. Durant's got 12 points in the game. 
bringing that three-point percentage up quite a bit this quarter, shooting it well. The lead's going to get a little bit bigger if they can keep this up. Head passes to Jackson. Now here is McGrady. He's guarded by Ridna. Passed ahead. Houston moving it around. McGrady up top. Guarded by Green. A shot by McGrady. No good. But that's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Now here is Ridna. Green with the three, and again, Seattle with the triple. And here is McGrady, 15 points in the game. Looks good, is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. Like the size McGrady has inside. Fantastic at kind of angling his body there for the interior shot. Floater. The shot's good. Right now has got the lead back up to five now for the Sox. Houston's gone three or four with the long range bombs here in the second quarter. McGrady outside. Pass to Landry. And here's Jackson. He kicks it to McGrady. Five on the clock. Here's Landry. It's McGrady who picks up the assist. McGrady's got three assists now in this one. Sonics leading by three. Outside, KD goes up on the wing, and it's Seattle with another. 59 seconds left to play here in the half. Now McGrady, 17 points in the game. Over Green, again the Rockets score. And McGrady, as accomplished a mid-range shooter as we have in the game, keeps that high release point on the jump shot. Outside Durant. 35 seconds left to play in the first half. Second chance effort. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's like Carl Wendt. Nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. The Supersonics shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Good from Durant. Both good from the line that time. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. Jackson passes to McGrady. Over Green. A shot by McGrady. No good. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Jackson kicks to McGrady. Over Green. No good with the elbow jump. And so it's Seattle. Heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. 
Kevin Durant was on fire in the first half. He had 16 points, two assists, and one rebound. He has bounced back nicely from what was a tough night for him in their last game. Judging by that first half, he's back to his old self. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. I don't think anyone expected to see such numbers from the bench. You know, I'm impressed. It was what they needed. The joke they needed, Ernie. Wow, I, I never knew their bench. As a matter of fact, I don't even know any of their players coming off the bench. Man, keep going, bench guys. And over to Kenny. What did you think about the Rockets? Well, I think they could be way more physical than they have been in the first half. Their defense gave up way too many easy looks, and that kind of defense will turn to a loss any night. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. We're seeing a tremendous game from Tracy McGrady. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far the defense has not been able to counter it. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Rockets trail by seven. We've got Durant. Wilkins is out there with Nick Collison. And it's the dude, and it's Watson in at the point guard position. That's the road for Scott Brooks getting going here in the second half. McGrady dishes to Yao. Back to McGrady from downtown. Carries it from three-point range. McGrady's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Rockets. Here's Watson. Here's Wilkins. But they'll get another chance. Wilcox passes to Wilkins. Outside, KD. Just five on the clock. Back to Wilkins. Over Battier. And he gets the friendly spin in that one drops. And that's now 11 points for the dude. Houston's gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. McGrady outside. And, and they continue to control the glass. Watson gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Watson's got eight. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Here's Yao. Good. And it's McGrady who picks up the assist. McGrady's got his fourth assist in this one. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Here's Wilkins. And it's Seattle with another. They're going to work. Here's the second half. Three or four to start. Rockets trail by eight. McGrady outside. Here is Alston. He's covered by Watson. Here's Yao. McGrady right side. Over Wilcox. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. You got to love seeing McGrady when he's hot. An amazing score from any spot on the floor. Watson finds KD. Outside Wilkins. Passes it to Watson. On the wing, Batty. Defended by Wilkins. Stoa. Rejected by Collison. Now, here's Watson. He's covered by Alston. The pass to KD. Now, Watson. Pass to Wilcox. Over McGrady, and it's Seattle with another. Boy, that's as wide open as you're going to get. The defense needs to lock in and be better than that. Rockets trail by eight. 
outside, and the call is going to be, yes, yes, it is, an illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question, Greg. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Here's Watson. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The Rockets have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Headshot off. Excellent D there for Scola. Rockets trail by eight. Alston with the ball. McGrady outside. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. And McGrady has an impressive vertical there, showing once again with how well he dunks the basketball. Now, here's Watson. He's covered by Alston. Watson the bounce pass. Shoots. Second chance shot. Here's Wilcox. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Two shots. First one at the line is good. And Wilcox drops him both. Here's Alston. Pass to McGrady. Yao in the high post. Yao draws the double. Eddie outside. Four on the shot clock. Goes up to the strike. Nice spin off the left rim and in. 14 points for Yao. And likes the view from there. He, he's a strong mid-range shooter. Well, sometimes when you've got size, your release point is so high that you're going to get a good look no matter what. KD dishes to Collison. Wilkins against Batty. Wilkins shot is off. And his defense so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Passes it to Scola. Unloads from 13. Two points. That one goes. Scola's got eight. Listen, he hits that shot on a regular basis. Give credit to the offense for getting him a clean look. Watson, the pass to Wilkins. And the pass to Wilcox. Now here's Watson. He's covered by Alston. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That's foul number two for him.
And so it's Scola. He brings it up for Houston. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Houston moving it around. Pass to Alston. Back to Scola. Eddie outside. It's holding by Collison. Collison's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Wilcox passes to Watson. Wilcox down low. He's covered by Yao. Inside, Watson. Make it five for ten with him in that bucket. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that simply stated a terrific play. Here is Alston. He's covered by Watson. Duran against Yao. He gets it in there. Yao's got six points in the quarter. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Now, here's Watson. D right on him to the inside. And Shane Vadia gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Wilkins. 13 points in the game. Just five to shoot. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Alston passes to Yao. Stole with it. Defended by Durant. Pass to Alston. Houston needs to get a shot. Daddy A for three. And Durant sends it back. But Kevin Durant is playing spectacular defense, and it sets the tone for the entire team. Here's Watson. It's not going to go for him. Good work defensively by Yao. Rockets trail by four. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's McGrady. It's hauled in by Watson. Watson's got rebound number five here tonight. Outside Wilkins. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Here's Haiti. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. Houston's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Now a timeout called by Houston. We've seen Kevin Durant really have a great game. Yeah, he's just torching them right now. A good decision to huddle up, kind of hit the reset button and figure out how to slow his roll. ABC's checked in for Seattle. Carl Landry's checked in for the Rockets. Jackson comes in for Big Cat. McGrady outside. Here's Landry. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. throw is good. No 
good on the second free throw. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Here's Wilcox. And that one is off. Rockets trail by five. Now McGrady. He's got 26. Out to the right wing. Doubled by Collison. Six to shoot. Houston moving the ball around. Here's Scola. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Scola's got 10 points in the game. Boy, you cannot leave him alone like that. Good form on the fadeaway jumper. Here's Wilkins. A shot that time, not on target. So Houston will take it the other way. McGrady dishes to Scola. Count it. Now just a one-point Sonic lead. Whoa, sizzling from the field this half, and that's after a shaky start. Here's Rittenauer. To the paint. Mattier with the steal. Andrea against Rittenauer. Tracy McGrady on the wing. We've got 148 left in the third quarter. Again, the Rockets score. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, tooth and nail fight so far, guys. These sides match up really well. Here's Wilcox. And again, unable to change momentum here. Houston's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. McGrady against Durant. To the middle. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Now I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. It's good. And the Rocket lead is cut to just one in the basket from Ridnow. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time, Greg. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screen. Seattle has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. 36 seconds left in the third. Some solid defense there from Jackson. There's the feed to Scola. Good. And it's McCready who picks up the assist. Scola's got eight points here in this quarter. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Jackson against Ridnow. There's 18 seconds left to play in the third. Collison against Scola. Here's Wilkins. A beautiful reverse layup. Wilkins has got 15 points. There is an imagination of creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. A floater. And that one's good. Look, Brady. And the Rockets lead by three. And when he breaks out the cross hope, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. We've got more NBA basketball. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. And, Greg, nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. They've got Carl Landry. He's out there with Tracy McGrady. And there's Jackson. And it's head in at the shooting guard position. Boy, there is an ease with which Kevin Durant plays the game. This guy knows I can score from anywhere right now. McGrady with the ball. Outside Jackson. 
Here's head. All three off the mark. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Watson's shot is off. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Rockets. They lead by one. McGrady outside. Here's Hayes. And it's sent back by PD. And he gets it back. And they're able to recover. And another shot. He lays it in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Looking to end his cold spell. Watson's shot is good. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Passes to Jackson. Here is it. And here is McGrady, defended by Durant. Shoots. And that one's good. McGrady. McGrady's got 15 points in just the second half. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Now, here's Watson, guarded by Jackson. There's the pass to Collis. To the right side. Petro kicks to Green. From deep three-point range, rebounded by Jackson. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure who'd agree with him. I think we have to check his sanity because there's a number of better options on the floor. Head passes to Landry. Count that one. And now a five-point rocket lead. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Durant wishes to Petro. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Carl Landry. At the line for your socks, Petro. At the line for two. down the first one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Rockets leading by three. McGrady outside. Outside Jackson. To the inside. It's tipped and stolen by Watson. Down low. Here's Green. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And it's going to be on Tracy McGrady. And the length of Green is a real issue. For the D. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls. And Jeff Green now a journeyman veteran in the NBA. You know what, Doris? He'll give you good production. It doesn't matter, Kevin, where you seem to play this guy. Jeff Green finds a way to contribute. Listen, I know his three-point shooting can be hot and cold, but this guy is aware of when to look for it and when to move the basketball. Two qualities you love. No good on that one. And the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor.
That's off as well. So he misses both. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Throw drops for Jeff Green. And Jeff Green drops them both. And here is McGrady. Tight D, tight D. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Kicks it to Jackson. Back to McGrady. Over Green. Just five on the clock. A shot by McGrady. No good. For Seattle, they've gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. To take the lead. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. it up and this next one could give them the lead. Just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Back to Jackson. Head passes to length. McGrady against Collison. Here's Hayes, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Jeff Green picks one up. from Hayes. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Mm, that will sting a little bit. Failing to get the lead when the opportunity was there, but does tie it up. Watson with it. Jackson on him. Watson's shot is off. For Houston, they've gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Jackson with the bounce pass. Now here's Hayes. He's covered closely. 
Five on the clock. Shot on the wing, and Jackson gets it to go. And the Rockets lead by two. And KD's got the ball here for the Seattle Supersonics. Inside, here's Collison. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, that's just a pretty pass. Kevin Durant carrying the scoring load when he has to, but boy, can he get others involved. and no good on the free throw. Rockets have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Pass to Lent. McGrady outside. Over Collison. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. McGrady's got 17 now just in the second half. Seattle calls timeout. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. And the Supersonics making a change here. Bill Cox has checked in, and a change for the Rockets. Cows checked back in. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Kevin, I heard what Scott Brooks said to his team. He's not happy with what he says are late rotations defensively against their three-point shooters. And then at the offensive end, he wants his guys to get their own shots within the rhythm and flow of the offense. Kevin? Count the basket. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. McGrady against Green. Now, here is McGrady. He's guarded close. Vital basket there. This is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over. Watson, the pass to Green. He kicks it to Watson. Shot clock at five. Pass to KD. Rebounded by Houston. Yao's got rebound number seven for him tonight. To the inside. Jackson passes to Hayes. McGrady outside. Pass to head. Houston moving it around. Yao draws the double. He's still up. Now he is nine of ten. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Feeds it to Collison. Over Hayes. The shot will not fall. So Houston will take it the other way. Here is Ed. Guarded by KD. Shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Even double T, he had the vision to see the open man. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. And here's the break. Here's McGrady. Good on the bucket. McGrady's got 40 points. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow, what a game. Watson, the pass to KD. To stop the run. Wow, hammering it in! How about the quick jump from Kevin Durant? He was impressive on that one. So for the Rockets, the Prophets checked in for Hayes. Hattier comes in for Luther Head. And it's Big Cat in for Jackson.
A free throw off from Durant. Houston leading by six. Now Alston. Pass to McGrady. Pass to Alston. A three. And it's KD with the rebound. For Seattle, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. And that one is good. Durant's got six points in the quarter. You know what? The switch has flipped, and he's in that proverbial zone right now, knocking down three of four here in the fourth. Here's Alston. Stola kicks to McGrady. Passes it to Batty. On deep. It's stolen by Wilcox. And there's the pass to Durant. And he lays it straight in. And now just a two-point Houston lead. Well, we know Kevin Durant is one of the elite players in the NBA. And if there's a big shot to be made, he wants to take it. Timeout call. The Rockets. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here. And not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a non-stop parade to the foul line. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Shot, high post. Misses off the left iron. And smothered him on that mid-range team. Well, he sees the play developing, takes care of his responsibility, just terrific job defensively. Matty outside. Nasty out. Kicks to McGrady. Now Stola. Alston with the ball. Stola trying to break free. And Yao gets it to go on the assist by Alston. Yao's got 10 points here in the second half. Sonics trail by four. Time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. Gets on defense. Outside Green. Mattier with the steal. Pass to Alston. He kicks it to McGrady. Off target from outside. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Here's Durant on the money from 12 feet away. Durant's got 28 points for the game. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. He's a defender all over. There's 138 left in the fourth 
quarter. Now, here is McGrady. He's covered by Watson. Passes it to Young. Shot clock at six. And the shot goes in. Yao's got six points in the quarter. Next trail by four. Extending the lead. Simple basketball. Time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. They're trailing by six. 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Super Sonics will retain possession. Seconds left in the fourth. Here's Durant. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. free throw is good and that makes it a seven point lead and so both free throws are good and it's an eight point game 16 seconds left in the game disappointing day for them let's see if they go down with a fight well they definitely have some things to work out game the right way. Kevin Durant absolutely fearless. If the game's in the balance, he would demand the basketball. Watson for three off target. So we see the Rockets get the win here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team.